Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. In this video, we are going to learn about the CRUD REST API using the MySQL in Nest.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the code. Let me open the code. So this is the code and this is the source okay so first of all we have to go with the config okay so here you can see that we have a configuration file first that uh, the type is mysql all the data mysql host user password database you have to configure out so let's configure out here so the host is uh, localhost okay the port by default of the mysql port is so here it is defined the port otherwise uh, okay so i think 3306 is the port of it so let's add this port anything is missed that can also work right port okay so username i need to add over the username my db localhost username is uh, php my admin and password is uh, let me add this one also Okay, here I need to connect to the database. So let me add my connect data database, which is this one that is table and this is products DB. So let me add the products underscore DB. Okay, so this is done. Let's check the connectivity. So NPM start. Okay, the database is connecting now. You can see that this is currently at warning, but in future MySQL two ways can be used. Okay, so here the database connecting properly. Next, config, then go with your, uh, the next one that is the app module.ts. So here we have the nest common, nest config. Config module root is global true. And here we are adding the type ORM module for root type ORM configuration from the type ORM config. So this is type ORM config, okay. And which module in this? That is products module, okay. So here we have products. This is the connectivity part type ORM module. Now we are connecting to the database right now, okay. Next thing that is the main TS file here. What we have added that is here. You can see that. So we are using the helmet, okay, for the security middlewares validations. Use global pipes. Okay, so open API specifications that we are use. Okay, document builder. So here we are using the Swagger module for the creating the document. So you can also assess the Swagger setup, but currently I'm not showing the how to set up the Swagger. So I will let you know the Swagger API documentation in the later videos. Okay, so this is it. So let's try to build the CRUD operations that is in the products. Okay, controllers. Right. So this is controller. This is module here. We are adding the type ORM for feature product. Okay. Product entity is there. We are using product ID type. Okay. So we have a price, right? We have a name, price, description, created at and description created at, created at and updated at. So these all are we have created over here. So this, this is very important for creating a DB. Okay, then next we have a products controller. So let's check the products controller. Here we have the service, we have the product entity. Okay, so first get all products, get by ID. And here we have the post, post product. Then we have a fetch path, patch to get a, a put one API. Okay, for update. And this is delete by ID. So here you can also change it by some else one also you can also define the post by which api you want to add you can also give us a dynamic route like your own routes routes over here right okay so this is you know this is a products controller page where we have all the functions for get all get all by id get post put and delete okay so these all are the things so first we will we have to add one so this is product module, which we have already discussed. Then we have product service, which we will discuss step by step. Okay. So in the next one that we have a DTO file. Okay. So we are checking 
the uh, product name must be a text max length min length okay is to be a string length or not next we have the dto for the this update and this then we have we have to export this one then update dto for the products okay so here we have the dto which you are following okay this is done so let's go and check step by step that is products controller okay so first we will go with the get all okay so get all functionality what we are doing return await this dot product repository dot find okay it will return all the data that we have in the database so let's see let's open the postman which port it is running by default it's 3000 so let's check let's check the routes over here then we have a products first one is products get one open so let's add here the products this is the get api so let's try to hit this api let's check could not send which port it is running let me check first so we will get come to know about this one in the main.ts so here we have the 5000 port it is running so let's copy this and add it over here okay let's get all the products so here we will we have to get all the listing of the products okay so here you can see that that is the get api over here so here we have the product controllers first one is get all service so here we have a get all service which will return word repository dot find will give you all the products right next one that is get my id so get one by id we have to pass the id so it accepts id should be a number and check whether the product is there or not if it is there then it will return else it will catch that get one product by id error and it will show you the product with id not found so let's have a look that one also so what we have to do is we have to pass the id and the, this is the get api so here we go with this one id we will going to put two so you have to go to and just add here like suppose i will put 10 what happened because it record does not exist product with id 10 not found so let's add the two okay so here we go with this one and you can see that get product by id so whenever we have a view information so you can add it over here okay so this is the get by id or the view part when we have a front end first we get all the listing then we have a view to click by the particular details of that id then next we have the update so let's check update and the create also so here we go with this one so we have the put post part that is product so let's add the products over here so here we go with this make it put post request and this is products right so let me add all of the things over here it is we don't require okay so here we have the token we don't require body so let's add the body over here so we need require the first name that is my test product test product product and here we have to add the next one that is description description and please try this product this product okay name description and we require the price on the same note so price price we require and this to be 20 okay but let's go with the decimals also so 20 let's try to hit this one okay test product please try this product okay let's go and check the database on the same time we have a select data you can see that test product is added over here okay current timestamp okay now we can fetch all the products by just use making the get request and this id should be the fifth id product id okay you can see that in the listing 
of this product id here you can see that the product id is 5 you can also just get it the product details by just adding the 5 okay so this is done let's move to the update section so we have to go with this one so th that is one the patch part products id patch okay so i need to update that product so i need to put the id and make it the patch request so here we go with this one so let me make the patch request and here we have to this and i want to just add this test product to be test product five six seven eight nine and product should product id should be anything and this price should be 10 let's try okay let's check in the db you can see that it is updated right now so let's go to the code level so here get all is done get one by id is done what is the next one that is the post that we have already done so here we have a product product means the here whatever the data that we are in the dto we have to send okay so this is the first one that is the name that is the price that is the description so these three are the requirements to generate a product okay so next one that is so let's check the create service over here so it's very easy this dot product repository dot create you know to just pass the product and save that product okay next we have the op update this is the update so we are requiring the one parameter that is id okay and update part is here let's check this product find one by id if it exists then we will do the rest of the process else we will throw an error product with the id not found okay so here we are just found product okay then product updated at and the new time just for the updated part we have updating the time and this we are cloning that full product and the font product okay and just send into the product repository so this is the update part next we have the delete section okay so definitely it is a delete one just we need to pass the id and it will delete that one so here we have the delete delete part delete at the red param so it's a param part right so we just a number so let's check the delete part so here we have to just send the id over here so let me go and just add the id id make it delete request so here we have a delete request just send it fifth okay status 200 let's see fifth product is deleted or not so you can see that i can also add the fourth so here you can also see that the product is deleted okay so this is how we have the we have to delete that one part right so this is the crud operations where we are let go to go the through of the listing get product by id create a product update and delete that is a CRUD operations that we are following over here with the MySQL, with the MySQL that we are using. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Any query, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, this video is for MySQL. Next video, we'll come up with the Postgres, then MongoDB. So three databases with three CRUD operations, right? So thank you so much. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.